Well, like, like all year, I think these guys have fought their tails off and fought hard, played hard. The, the obvious difference in the game was the last four minutes of the first half, and that was the pivotal four minutes of the game. And, um, but these guys have never wavered. They've never backed down. They've competed hard. They've played hard. They've had incredible attitudes. They fought their tails off every day in practice. And um, I'm just really proud of them. Um, tonight, playing a really good team. Bobby's done a good job with this team. And we got off to a little slow start, but played pretty well for a stretch. The last four, like I said, the last four minutes of the first half were pivotal. We'd cut it back to one, then we'd go in down 16 at half. So they made a nice run to end the half. And it was a big shot at the, at the end there. I thought our guys fought their tails off in the second half. and. We cut it and we had a chance, but just couldn't couldn't get over the hump. But Chris was phenomenal. Jalen was phenomenal. Both these guys have had great years, and um, it was a tough loss. We really felt coming in, we felt we'd have a chance to be playing on Saturday. So we're all very disappointed right now. Right here. What do you think kind of went into that run, that 14? Nothing run they had to end the first half. Where it was their ball movement just getting better at that point. I thought they, I, you know, it was a combination like most runs are, but it was a combination of offensively we we made some maybe some poor plays, had some poor <laughs> possessions offensively, and then at the other end it was combined with <laughs> some really good plays by them. Ball was moving and they got things. They're a they're a very they can be a very streaky team, but they're very dynamic. And when they get going, they're, they're pretty darn good. And they just, in that stretch, really got going. We missed some opportunities offensively, and they maximized some things at the other end. And it just snowballed a little bit on us. And uh, again, it was a r really good game up until that point. We, I thought we had a good halftime, had a good talk. And uh, I thought the guys came out and fought their tails off in the second half. We just couldn't get over the hump. For for the for Jalen and Chris, what, what does it feel like now uh, for the season to be over? Uh, it hurts, man. Uh, you know, like Coach said, we we're practicing hard, play hard. We all love each other, so uh, you know, you never want just you never want to see some men like that. So it obviously hurts a lot. Chris, uh, I mean, you just you never want to see the season end. I mean, it's over with, and you no, know, we all hurt. Coach, what was your message to the players in the locker room with this probably being your last game with them? Um, that's tough. I mean, it's tough to, to share all that with you. A lot of that's just kind of between me and the team. But really just the fact that I'm very proud of them and what they, what they accomplished. It's been a hard year for them. You know, we don't have to go through all that, but it's been a tough year for them. And, and our team, but I, I, I can just say this: um, when when Dwayne and Tyus and I took over in early January, they have just they've never taken a day off. They've just never taken a day off. So I think the message in the locker room from T Tyus and Dwayne and I was just, um, you know, how much we love them, how much we care for them, and um, that's about it. And. Do you want the interim tag taken off? Do you think you've no, 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 done no, enough? No, no, no. They'll hire another coach, and they'll hire a, a very good coach, I'm sure. And and hopefully there's good days ahead for me. I'm sure there are. And But uh, we, we love coaching them. They were, they're were they great young men. I love them uh, as people. And uh, they could have quit at times, and they just, they just never quit. They just never quit. I think there were a lot of things said about our team, and you know, I look back to Oregon. We were 19 down. They came back and won that game. We played in three overtime games in the Pac-12. We won all three. And these guys just never backed down. They never quit. And they stuck together. They were a pretty connected group. So there's good days ahead for UCLA. And there's great days ahead for these, these guys on this team. And uh, I enjoyed being with them and coaching them. And Dwayne was great. Tyus was great. And UCLA will move on. And... And uh, I'm sure there, there are better days ahead. Right here. Have you guys 
made any decisions about your futures, and, and if not, what, what will go into that, those decisions? I'm not worried about anything about the future right now. I'm just trying to stay with my team, stay with them for now, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, same here. I'm, I'm in this moment. And uh, to piggyback on the last question, uh, Coach really thanked us for going hard every day. I want to thank them for going hard today, every day for us. Thanks. I think uh, Coach Bartosa, you know, a really good man. And yeah. uh, I appreciate all of them, you know, coming and fighting with us day by day, too. Yeah, most definitely. You know, it was easy. It could have been easy for any of them to leave. You know, Broussard's been with, you know, Coach Steve a long time. You know, Tyus and all of them, Wes. But they all stuck with us, and I'm just thankful for that. I think we'll leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you.